Welcome to Super Saturday here at Alton Park. We've got a fantastic show in store for you today because it's the Marangoni Tyres Production BMW Championships in association with QuickFit. We hope you enjoy the show. The Marangoni Tyres Production BMW Championship is so friendly and so accessible that new drivers are welcome at any time. Newcomer for this weekend is Tim Dixon. Let's head down to the paddock to meet him. You've joined the Production BMW Championships in the second half of the season. Crucial times. Why now? Uh, why not? I've, uh, I've finally got enough money to come out and come and go racing this season. I've enjoyed it. I did half the season last year. Um, the sun's shining, Alton Park's my favourite track of the, of the entire country, so absolutely perfect time to come racing. To be perfectly honest, I'm, I am, as you say, new to this, so I'm not terribly competitive. I've only got the 1.8 litre engine, that's a good excuse for me to be uh, slow around the track. So I'm, I'm not looking to be uh, top 10, I'm quite happy to break the top 20 this, uh, today, that'd be a, a good result for me today. But it's a very accessible championship, uh, weekends racing is uh, you know, very accessible price-wise, so uh, it's just a good place to learn. So we're about halfway through the season for the Marangoni Tyres Production BMW Championship and it was assumed that at this stage Ben Winrow would be leading. However, giving him a run for his money is reigning champion Mike Tovey and also Stuart Waite. We caught up with Ben to see how he was feeling about the current situation. We haven't been able to put our finger on it really. The, the brakes on the car have been sort of getting, getting progressively worse. We've been losing pressure in the system over the last two rounds. Uh, but we've replaced a lot of components, replaced the master cylinder. I've been brushing up on my technical terms as well. So, um, yeah, it's looking a lot better. We've done a few laps this morning. Uh, the car feels great. Now, you've got the uh, likes of uh, Mike and Stuart, who are really, um, I'd say, hot contenders this year. Are you going to knock them off the podium this time? Yeah, it's about time. Uh, Mike, Mike's a good lad. Yeah, he's a quick, he's a quick driver, um, and he's he's always been there the last couple of years. Um, I know I can race closely with him. Hopefully, not too close this weekend, though. A very impressive 33 cars here on the grid for the Marangoni Tyres Production BMW Championships. We've got Ben Winrow back up on pole position, but defending champion Mike Tovey is second on the grid. With all the key names in the top four, looks set to be a fantastic race. It's going to be a fantastic race through the field, isn't it? Gigantic grid as ever. 29 cars with Ben Winrow heading them after qualifying. Mike Tovey alongside them on the front row, then Liam Crilly and Stuart Waite. Look out, row two, Matt Parks and Simon Glenn competing the top six. Red lights about to go on, there they are, we're in car with Mike Tovey. Lights flash out and away we go. And it's a good start from Mike, very smooth getaway. But Ben Winrow's got the jump in as they sprint towards Old Hall for the first time. It looks so calm and collected in the cockpit for Mike Tovey. It looks anything but from the outside point of view as we've got this full pack of BMWs barreling into Old Hall. In car Harry Goodman and Simon Glenn's gone off, Simon Glenn's had a spin and barreling towards Museum Francis in 67. Will he stop in time? Yes, he does. So fortunately, Auto Tools will not be called into action. But it's Ben Winrow who leads the way as he attempts to pull away from Mike Tovey because last time out at Snetterton, Tovey beat Winrow fair and square in two very tight races. So Ben Winrow now looking to try and show that he's boss over last year's champion Mike Tovey. Super battle already brewing up for third position. Stuart Waite is who's just ahead of Liam Crilly, then Matt Parks and Jack Gabriel. So the rest of the field streaming through such a competitive but well-supported championship. This is the Marangoni Tars Production BMW Championship in association with Quick Fit. So second place man Mike Tovey comes over the crest of Hilltop and down in two. The breaking zone of his, he's, well, he's got snappy races as a sponsor. Has he got a snappy gear change? Yes, he does. Nice tight turning from Toby. He fights the steering wheel and remains in second position. And Winrow, if anything, though, just beginning to move away from him a little bit. And that leading duo pulling clear of Stuart Waite. And for no wonder, because Stuart Waite has got Liam Crilly right on his tail and Matt Parks. They come over Clay Hill in towards Drews for the first time. And Crilly is looking to challenge Waite as Toby runs over the curbs into Drew's. Liam Crilly is, was pushing very, very hard. He's pushed too hard. Off he goes. Around goes Liam Crilly. Does he keep it out of the tyre barrier? Yes, he does. So he's going to rejoin, but a little bit further down the order. That now releases Matt Parks to challenge Stuart Waite, which he does almost immediately into the lodge corner. We're in car with Harry Goodman as he looks to try and gain some ground. And through he goes. Understeer ahoy for Harry Goodman as he fights the wheel, but he's made that move stick. 
over dearly and through to complete the lap then is Goodman as this fight for third position really shapes up very nicely wait just ahead of Parks and then Jack Gabriel coming onto the tail of the pair of them this has been a really strong season so far from Jack Gabriel he's worked his way up to be a regular podium contender and then we've got the Harry Goodman battle which is frenetic as you'd ever expect when Harry's in the mix so the leading duo some way clear now of this fight for third position and Parks just sitting in behind Stuart Waite biding his time he doesn't need to force this but at the same time if Waite were to leave an opening then Matt Parks would be through like a shot so they round Shell Oil's corner and they accelerate on towards the little flip-flop chicane at Britain's not one of the most exhilarating corners on the Alton Park circuit for the drives but absolutely critical to assessing up moves in some of the overtaking areas in the second half of the lap so over the curbs bounces Parks as they then crest at Hilltop for plunging down the hill into the breaking zone for Chicane and Hizzies, which is where the race leaders are arriving. And Mike Tovey just beginning now to close back in onto the tail of Ben Winrow. Winrow, a trofeo, our Bath champion, Clear Cup champion. Mike Tovey, the reigning Marangoni Tars production BMW champion in car with Tovey. And this is how the pros do it. So smooth. You think he's out for a Sunday drive, not second place, and a keenly contested motor race barely move the wheel any more than he absolutely has to and that is the key to success really in this championship the cars aren't the most powerful these Marangoni tyres are excellent tyres for the racing but they're not particularly grippy they take a little bit of time to warm up and that means the drive's going to be very smooth in the early stages to get the optim optimal uh, performance out of them over the course of the race so just jinking to the inside there is Matthew Parks he closes in on Stuart Waite Jack Gabriel still very much looming with intent in fifth position in that bright blue machine. Then we've got Harry Goodman, who's the train, and that next group of cars caught a glimpse there of Liam Crilly as he endeavours to move up through the order. Also, Mark Lebon having a good battle as well. There's George Seeley in the 21 car as Crilly continues to gain ground. That's Tim Dixon, who we're hearing from a little bit earlier on, who he moves ahead of. Dixon, big smile and the thumbs up as he's logo on the side of the car and why not it's an enjoyable championship and Dixon doing very well somebody who's come to the championship a little bit later this year so the fight for third position continues it's a really nice shot through the windscreen and into the visor and eyes of Matthew Parks as he continues his pursuit of Stuart Waite jinking through Britain's it's Parks being careful not to use too much curve on the exit as they come over Hilltop. So the race leader, Ben Winrow, still very much in control. He's pushing hard. Oh, that's a shame. Tim Dixon and Stephen Murphy have tangled. And Murphy, yeah, that front left corner looks all askew. I fear that he's going to be going no further in this race. So Murphy, and unfortunately, Carity as Matthew Parks is right onto the tail now of Stuart Waite through Druids. They come on towards Lodge Corner. He always gives him a tap along the straight. Such a close championship, this one, but the racing is very, very clean. So I don't think there was anything too rash here from either driver. No, we don't. Matthew Parts realises, well, those alongside Stuart Waite, he's not ahead of him. He has to concede the corner to Waite. And so Stuart Waite maintains that third position, but Matthew Parks pushing him very closely all the way. And certainly there are some other championships that can learn from this demonstration how you can race tin tops very closely, but also very cleanly as well said Matthew Parks does take one of the corner markers with him as a souvenir of Old Hall on that occasion Simon Glenn also recovering from his adventures earlier on he moves ahead of Stephen Carter into Lodge Corner then rotating on the first corner but he's another driver who has been really impressive thus far over the course of the 2012 season Brian Jones coming under a little bit of pressure there from Andrew McGregor there's Andy McGregor in the bright white number eight car on the tail of the 84 machine of Brian Jones and just behind them Christian Dean in the grey 17 car Miles Howard and Mark Palmer also having a nice battle Palmer in the white car Howard as ever in the bright orange machine this is again one of the beauties of this championship there is just battling going on throughout the field you'll never have a lonely race if you compete in the Marangoni Tires production BMW championship and closing up onto the tail of Howard as well is Ian Russell in the 18 car bit lower down the order than maybe we'd normally expect from him. he's a quick driver so he is right in the mix of this battle which is disputing seventh place as they crest hilltop also there is Andrew Partridge in the 
red and black number six car. So into the braking zone at his ease. And Palmer, for the moment, able to withstand the challenge from Miles Howard. We're not too far away from the checker flag here either. So Miles Howard is going to make this move. He's going to have to do it sooner rather than later. Over Clay Hill, they climb. Again, the smooth exit from his ease is crucial. It's a really steep climb, that, as Ben Winrow heads into Lodge Corner. And Winrow, well, this is the performance that he needed. He needed to show Mike Tovey that he was capable of winning races in a dominant fashion once more after the disappointments of Neston. And he really is doing that here at Alton Park. And he takes the checker flag to claim honours in the first race. Second place goes the way of Mike Tovey. And what about this fight for third? And it is, I think, going to be Stuart Waite. Although Parks and Gabriel still fighting over fourth positions. They head through Lodge for the final time up over Deer Leap. It is going to be Stuart Waite who completes the podium after a fighting drive and then Matthew Parks fine fourth Jack Gabriel in fifth with Harry Goodman completing the top six so a very entertaining race so let's then take a look at the final results so it is that win for Ben Winrow from Mike Toby Stuart Waite very fine third Matthew Parks Jack Gabriel and Harry Goodman well after the hard work comes the round of applause and the presentation of the champagne and the trophies on the podium yeah, really pleased. Um, start's never been a strong point, so really happy to get it hooked up off a start. Fantastic getaway. Um, managed to uh, pull a car length into, into Old Hall, so I wasn't even troubled into the first turn. So, yeah, from then on, it's just a case of getting my head down, pegging Mike for a little bit, and then I think we pulled out a bit of a gap towards the end, didn't we? So, yeah, great result. Uh, yeah, like I said, I made a really poor start, to be honest, but I usually uh, get Ben on the starts, but he got away from me this time. Uh, by lap three or four I had a horrible knocking noise coming from the car which held me back I couldn't go near any curbs or anything like that but um, I find a lot of pace from qualifying to the race so I'm going to try and put it to Ben in race two. Having had a disappointing one at Snet last meeting it was good to get back on the podium. Um, Matt Parks made it difficult for me at the start um, I had a good scrap with him but uh, yeah the car, the car was very good I've, I've had some new suspension from Gas Shocks uh, this weekend which uh, has really transformed the car so uh, yeah I managed to get my head down and get a gap and get back on the podium it's been a bit a while. Well, that's it for part one here at Alton Park. Join us again in part two for some more action from the Marangoni Ties Production BMW Championships.